Redemption Church. My name is Courtney, and I just wanted to take a minute to share with you a story about one of our volunteers in our children's ministry and how they have been displaying groundbreaking generosity. Ms. Rhonda serves faithfully at our West Campus in the fourth and fifth grade class, and we just wanted to give her time to tell her story. Hi, I'm Rhonda Stringfellow. When I signed up to volunteer at the West Campus, I checked the boxes for the host team and the cafe. I got put in children's ministry. God certainly has a sense of humor. My first week, I went into that class and what was supposed to be an hour felt like two weeks. One of the kids walked in and immediately sat down, crossed his arms and said, you're gonna have to be a lot better than so-and-so if you want me to like you. I left that classroom, got in the car and cried all the way home. I told my husband someone had made a mistake somewhere. And he told me, Give it everything that you have, and it'll all work out. He couldn't have been more right. 1 Corinthians 9, 6 says, Those who sow sparingly will reap sparingly, and those who sow bountifully will reap bountifully. So I started being bountiful. I started studying more. I started engaging the kids, adding trivia questions, doing Bible drills, and challenging them to memorize their verses handing out prizes when they were able to do so. That trickled down. Their brothers and sisters started stopping me in the hallways to say their Bible verses because they wanted to get a treat or a trinket or a toy. And as we continued on, we started seeing salvations and baptisms. None of that is my doing. That's all God's work through their lives. But I was just the tool that He used. None of the gifts that I use, my time, my talents, my money, none of that is mine to give. It all belongs to God. I'm just giving it back to Him. Generosity is not a one-time gift for a one-time need or an ask. Generosity, I believe, is a lifestyle, and it's a lifestyle of giving God honor for everything that He's given me.